Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. As you can see, you see what we're going to be talking about. Now, at first, I thought, Father Time was out there with his brother or, uh, what do you call it, his biological brother or his, um, uh, I don't know, made up brother, who knows, brother friend. I thought Simon was out there partying with his brother and the two sons and all of that. And, you know, at a concert, I think it was, shit, don't make me lie, the weekend maybe, <laughs> the weekend, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? the weekend the artist the weekend but that's his so-called brother the two boys to the left and i think that white woman sitting in the middle of them i ain't get no picture of because i really didn't care about her but anyway it is what it is okay but i was really focusing on simon i said okay simon getting out by himself with his brother's brother's kids brother's wife and they chilling i ain't think portia was back in town or she was back in the fold child i said portia don't have that brother go nowhere by himself and i'm like he need to he need to go by himself sometime so we can see another side of him and not the publicity side that you're trying to get us to think that y'all are truly a couple y'all truly in love and it is what it is right now we don't give a crap we don't give a fuck no more about whether you married a man or you don't we don't gave you all our warnings all our um thoughts and condolences to y'all freedom with one another if y'all want to go and get married, go ahead. Go ahead, okay? Because I ain't going to do nothing but talk about it still. I ain't going to do nothing but talk about it. What I like, what I don't like. And I know y'all saying, that ain't none of your damn business. You right. But again, I keep telling y'all, I'm nosy as hell. And I have opinion out this world. I have opinions out this world. And I need to share it, share it with my family. Okay, so don't come down on me too hard, okay? I, I admit when I'm nosy, you know what I'm saying? You got the other ones that don't want to admit they, they know. They just want to bring you the news. But hell, I want to bring you the news that you can use from my train of thought and my perspective. And I'm going to give you the nosiness because I can be nosy for all of us, okay? Yes. But we're talking about Simon. We're talking about Simon over here. Okay, looking like he's constipated and trying to push out a shit. That's what that picture is giving me. And if I was that, I would say, Simon, you want to sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. You damn near in your 60s. You don't need to be doing nothing but the two step. No bumping and grinding motion, none of that. Because Portia ain't there. She probably getting it from some other man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The Viagra probably is not working in your favor. But I like, damn. When I saw Portia in that picture and I saw her putting two and two together, I said, damn. Simon, why you have to sit there and let her go in? everywhere with you like you can't do nothing by yourself i mean nothing by yourself Woo! now if your brother came from england or scotland or wherever you said he came from europe i'm pretty sure he had to bring his wife because them boys are too light had to be somebody light bright or white that's all i'm gonna say that he was married too but like i said you never know what you're gonna fall in love with or who you're gonna fall in love with and what race you're gonna fall in love with it just is what it is and we keep it moving okay but i was just kind of disgusted when i thought simon was out there by himself doing the thing with his brother's brother's kids and his wife and he's trying to show them the town up her in atlanta but again we know Simon probably don't go nowhere without portia and portia had to pretty much tell him no you go down this street you go down she probably hook up the gps for him who knows but like i said sit your ass down simon you can't dance you, if you don't do the two-step or you know the, the close uh slow dragon we do as an adult just leave it alone because we don't want to see you bumping up there because you're going to hurt something you're going to push something out that need to be up in you still okay um just uh trying to figure it out ah oh, the comments and goings of simon good the comments and goings of simon good
and what Portia wants us to believe about this man here. Okay? Because we ain't even looking at him in a, as a millionaire, billionaire no more. We're just looking at him as a man just trying to live life or do what he can. And then when he come and do something foolish, fuckery, fraudulent, fakery mess, then we have to get on his ass. Okay? We have to tell him about himself. And right now, he look like he about have to have a stroke or something. I'm like, sit down, Simon. They ain't got time to be calling on 911 or in security people to come get you and take you out. Uh, the, wherever y'all was, I don't know if it was a Mercedes Stadium or whatever, but you call yourself, or they call themselves, um, hell, you might have been looking at the Mar Bar 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 maybe that was the song they were playing, Burner Bar Boy, because we know you ain't got no, you ain't got no ties to nobody rich and famous, we know that, ah, <sighs> because you can't even get nobody to do your wedding for you. That's what I hear in the street, Simon. You can't get nobody to donate their goods for free. Hell, you can't even get Bravo to pay for your wedding. Yep, that's what I heard, man. That's what I heard. And it seemingly like it must be correct. Jada, if you don't stop that mess. But yes, okay. Um, Seems like Father Time was out there trying to show uh his... I guess brother, him and Portia, uh, the time of their life here in Georgia, I guess. Who knows? Okay, we don't know what they really be doing because everything is like a photo op for them. They got to show us where they're coming and going. They got to show us when they're going to the bathroom. They got to show us going when they're wiping the ass. We, you know, just stuff like that. Sometimes we just get tired and it's just be too much going on. So, yes, Simon. Okay, it was a Kendrick Lamar concert. Had to go on his page and find out because I want y'all to know where he was. He was in State Farm Arena. Uh, and him and Portia was hugging up with one another. I'm like, girl, oh, can you not go somewhere without him for a while? And can he not go somewhere without you? Okay, but then again, you would probably try to pick somebody up if we let you on your own recording, sis Portia. But, uh, yeah, Portia was saying it was a date night for them. She says with her partner and crying and family members, okay? So that's what they were doing. But ah, I was like, Portia, 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 you ain't got to tell us all that. We can see it. A picture's worth a thousand words and then some. Okay, baby girl? A picture's is worth a thousand words and then some. All right, but I did. I, think I thought I had a clip in here with you on a uh, private jet that you rented. And you had on a um, little, not a little Vuitton, a Versace. Well, hell, it was good. Hell, it one of one of the designers that y'all shouldn't even be partaking in anyway because they didn't want you to buy the, their clothes anyway, okay? Why don't you buy some black-on-black -black stuff, okay, for a chance or for a while, okay? Can we do that? Do we always have to name drop somebody, not even in our culture and not even in our league? If they really sat down and talked to you, uh, you probably fall out your seat because they're not checking for you, okay? They're not checking. These designers put stuff out for the rich and famous, for them to partake of what is supposed to be deemed good quality, okay? And I'm like, oh, I'm so sick of people that got money and don't want to. Now, if you want to buy for them, don't get me wrong. Go on, uh, you know, buy from them. Get your heart taken. Uh, what do you call it? What I'm trying to say. Uh, knock yourself out. Free your mind, okay? Free your mind. And the rest will follow. Yes, I'll keep trying to tell Simon, free your mind, honey. Because it look like you're trying to push out a shit. Ah, you constipated. Oh, you constipated. Push, get a man some laxatives or something. Give him some prune juice so he can look better in his spirits. Because right now he's just praying that he probably don't go on himself at State Farm Arena. But that's just how it is, how it goes. But yes, I think it was a Versace robe he was wearing on the plane. And his brother beside him, a friend of the family, who knows, okay? We really don't give a shit. But we like to include people if they're around you, okay? He was sitting up there in some shorts and a t-shirt. Simon was sitting up here in shorts, t-shirt. Oh, hell, you might have been hanging had the uh, pants that were or what do you call it um the pants that you uh, walk around in the house with pajamas p pajama pants i don't know what kind of top he had on but i must have not included it in this video because i don't really see it so y'all can just take a gander but if y'all want to live on the uh the crazy side go on over there to simon gabadia's uh instagram account and just scroll through his pictures and you're going to see the picture that i was referring to he up in a now when you go catch a private jet I ain't saying you have to have clothes on, but most time it's just presentable that you come with clothes on that's suitable for the ride. But Joker had on a Versace robe. 
<laughs> I'm like, boy, this ain't room service, okay? This ain't you just rolling out your bed. Well, you rolling out your bed, didn't take no bath, didn't wash your face, didn't brush out your mouth, rinse out your mouth. What's going on, son? What is going on? But anyway, your brother looked like he was having fun or a brother from another mother. I don't know. Don't really care to tell you the truth. But I know he had to get his groove on and you had to get your groove on because y'all have passed that time. And now you're more so making a fool out of yourself than actually looking good. Because it seemed like one of his little boys was looking at him like, man, y'all crazy. Y'all, y- y'all know what y'all doing. Sit down somewhere. And enjoy the Kendrick Lamar's um, concert or whatever he was giving y'all. And I'm still so just. Just please, I'm just discontent. Where the hell are the masks? Okay, where are the masks? In Georgia, we still got the uh, OVID going up, 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 and then some. But see, y'all hard headed. Y'all hard headed until y'all get it and find your asses in the, um, uh, we call it the hospital and be begging for a respirator. Okay? Because then I'm the type of person to just be like, where were you and why were you there? Were you wearing a mask or what, what other type of productive protection? PPE equipment were you wearing at the time and then if everything comes up I was just trying to live my life trying to be free when you know because there's been several PSAs out there but still people walk around with masks and this that and third and you gonna come I'm like I'm passing up who's the next person because you ain't gonna take care of yourself why should other people take care of you that's that's in the medical field if you don't want to take care of yourself why should they take care of you okay let this sink in your head for a chance instead of feeling like i'm in free i'm in america we can do what we want to do now nah, that's what's wrong with america now got 24 want to do what they want to do and that ain't good for the overall picture it ain't good for humanity but they just selfish and they want to do what they want to do they don't care about the consequences but you might not suffer the consequences of your actions but it may peep out on someone else so you're infringing on somebody else's rights okay but that's another thing that's another whole subject Y'all do what y'all want to do when y'all out in the streets. But if you ever see me in the street and I'm wearing a mask, don't fuck with me. Because that means I don't want you to come close to me. I want six or eight, ten feet distance. All right? Send me a telegram through mail. Send it on. Put it on the blimp in the sky. That, hey, Dale Chanel's 40th world. Because I'm telling you, I'm not messing with nobody. Because <laughs> I got it before and I had a little slice of ammonia with it. I don't want it no more. Okay? Because it just feels like a big elephant is sitting on your chest when you can hardly breathe and you know i'm a little roly-poly now i'm trying to work on that but my, my um i go see the doctor too tomorrow my um my, we call it my feet been swollen for about a couple of weeks now but it just seemed like it getting bigger and bigger so i don't know y'all keep me in prayer the ones that really want to see my up come not my down come okay but that's all i got for this particular video guys i will see y'all on the next one and remember be safe out there in the world wear your damn mask okay stop being selfish okay the life you may save may be your own all right and i'll see y'all next video Bye bye